Hi everyone, Miss Silla here. So I'm very excited to put this new little planter today. It's called Patch Planters. It is a self-watering little planter. Very simple design, yet innovative. So we'll be putting it together and planting some seeds today, some leafy greens. So I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up. So I think the material is like a Tyvek material, so obviously it's um, like a plastic type, so the water doesn't leak through. So there's some parts in here that we'll be putting together, so let's get a closer look. This is going to be the support system for our little planter box. So we'll get to that next. So first off, we're going to insert these wood so that way our planter is stable. So there's holes right there on the sides so that you can insert them in or through. This piece here is our soil cham chamber. Wicking leg, looks like it. So we'll fold that out. Place this inside our planter. So now we have that. A little tube will go into this hole here. So now that we've got our little planter put together, we're going to go ahead and put some soil in here. I'll be using coconut coir, pre-moisted coconut coir, as well as some perlite and worm castings. So this is really neat, this coconut coir that I purchased online. I'll be providing all the links below for you. So if you'd like to check them out, you can purchase your own planter and some coconut coir, worm castings, all that stuff. But anyways, this is like a one brick of coconut coir and it came with this plastic bag so that way you can just soak it in warm water. The uh, coconut brick or coir expanded within about 10-15 minutes. So quick. So I think this is the best coconut coir that I've ever used. Um, very impressed with this one. And if you haven't used coconut coir yet, it is a great potting medium, um, good at moisture retention as well as nutrient and also um, provides good drainage and aeration. So it's really good. And the perlite I'll be adding also does the same thing. So uh, it increases um, aeration, drainage, and retention. A couple handfuls of perlite. A cup of warm castings I'm pouring in. This potting medium is already pre-moistened. So now that we have our soil ready, we'll go ahead and sprinkle in some lettuce seeds. There's three different uh, varieties of lettuces in here. I've got romaine, butter crunch, and leaf lettuce. So this will be like our little microgreens, but I'm gonna go ahead and let some of them grow and mature. So we'll be thinning them out, at least eating the microgreens. And you don't need to cover the lettuce with any uh, soil. You just kind of press them down and they do need light to germinate. So I'll be placing this in our liver, living room where there is a skylight. So we'll get plenty of um, sunshine or light. I usually miss them every Day, every morning until they germinate. So now we'll sit back and wait and we'll check up on our seeds and see how they do in the next few days. So stay tuned for the update and again if you are interested in any of the products I use today check out the link below um, on the description box you'll see the links I provided there for you and um, we'll see you again soon guys. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Happy gardening!